Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this month's favorites and flops. I can't believe it's already the end of September, but if you'd like to see some of my favorite and maybe not so favorite products that I got, used, rediscovered during the month of September, then please keep on watching. Like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And uh, I also do a live stream the majority of Sundays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so come hang out, come chat with me. Um, I love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. You'll have to excuse me, I'm a little bit sick, I just have a cold, so not feeling super great, and my lips are super duper chapped. Something that's always a must-have is Blistex, the original lip ointment. Mm-hmm. So good. Anyway, so I've got um, skincare, makeup, hair care, all sorts of stuff, so let's just go in and get into it. Okay, so the biggest surprise to me personally, and it's going to kind of start this off, is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. So um, I've heard about this for years, and heard great things about it. I have combination skin, I have a lot of texture, large pores, blah 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 blah. Finally broke down and got this and tried it this month and holy crap, this stuff is beautiful. It is velvety, it is smooth, it's blurring, but it's not super silicone-y or dimethicone -y. I was shocked by this stuff. I will actually wear this stuff just by itself, like without putting makeup over it. It just beautifully blurs the skin, just leaves it velvety soft. Makeup has sits on top of it gorgeous. It's a great, great primer. This is probably my number one drugstore face primer. Absolutely love this stuff. I can see why so many people love it. So definitely recommend it. It is awesome. So love this stuff a ton. Um, so another thing that really I just was blown away by was the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat Collection. So here I have the shadow palette and all three lip glosses. This is such a cute, cute collection. I love coffee, I love cats, and so yeah, just gorgeous packaging, super, super cute. Has the names on the back. Um, I don't love the way the palette smells, which I did say in my review video, um, but it's really nice shade. It's just a really nice kind of neutral fall toned eyeshadow palette. It's gorgeous. And then the lip glosses for the Coffee Cat collection. Really, really nice. These two are my favorite. The pink one, um, not my favorite just color-wise, but it is pretty over lipstick. So all in all, the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat collection was definitely a good buy. Sean was super sweet and got it for me for our anniversary, but really nice collection. Definitely recommend it if you've been thinking about it. If anything, I definitely recommend the palette. Lip glosses are really nice. They all have a slightly different scent to them, but the eyeshadow palette is beautiful. And that's coming from someone that does not particularly love neutral, natural tones. I love color, but this is stunning. So really, really love it. Okay, so speaking of coffee, um, the Maybelline Super Stain Matte Ink, the Coffee Edition lipsticks, out of this world. Love the Super Stay Matte Ink um, formula. It's my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. Um, not just at the drugstore, just ever. Um, and I thought, because on Amazon they only sell these five shades, but when I was doing the research to like link everything, it looks like they have a sixth shade, which I cannot find anywhere. But really, really nice, beautiful, beautiful matte lipsticks. Um, the darkest two are my favorite, just because I do like dark lipsticks on myself. But all the shades are stunning, super smooth. They do dry down. I had quite a few people ask me in my comments, like they had one and it didn't dry down. You need to do thin layers, um, let it dry. It does take a few minutes to dry down, but you can't just go in like with a super thick layer. You need to work in thin layers and uh, give it time to dry. So, but yeah, I've never had a problem with them being sticky, but I did see a lot of people did say that, but. I never have personally had that, but I do do thin layers, so, but the coffee edition ones are beautiful. They smell really good. Gorgeous, gorgeous lipsticks. Okay, so I'll go ahead and move on to hair stuff. I still have um, makeup, and then we'll move on to some other stuff, but okay. <sighs> the Pert, the Pert 2-in-1 
like I said in my video, this is basically PERT Plus. They sold the company and the name, they dropped the plus, but this is PERT Plus. It just says PERT now though. Oh my gosh, this shampoo. Love this stuff so, so much. It smells just like it originally did. It keeps my hair super clean. I don't need to use a separate conditioner like I did say. It's just a really, really nice shampoo and conditioner. Love this stuff. It's a huge 25 ounce bottle, so this will last me a while, but really, really good. And it just, it brings back nostalgia for me. So really good shampoo and conditioner. Love this stuff, it's great, so. And then of course, the VO5 Kiwi Lime Squeeze Shampoo and Conditioner. Love this as well. This is a really good clarifying shampoo. Really helps to clean the residue and excess oil out of the hair. Smells really good. It suds up great. Um, I actually went and bought a few other um, VO5s, like one or two other ones to try. Because um, people really liked it and it had been forever since I tried VO5. So. This got me back on the VO5 train, guys. It is awesome shampoo and conditioner. It smells really good. Leaves there really clean without making it feel stripped or straw-like or anything like that. But this stuff is awesome as well. So super affordable too. At my local Kroger right now, it's 88 cents per bottle. I get mine at Dollar Tree, but you know, it's all good. And then this is the um, Ion. This is the etched wood paddle brush. This stuff is awesome. Oh, this hair brush is awesome. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted because I'm trying to pull out hair. Um, this paddle brush is amazing. No matter how much hair I'm pulling out. Um, this actually seems to not be pulling out as much hair as my old hair brush did, which I just tossed. Um, it's got a good weight to it. I do like the mixed bristles of the boar hair and the nylon. I personally haven't tried drying my hair with the blow dryer with this, but it's supposed to give like a really smooth blowout. But really, really nice hairbrush. Beautiful, good weight, good um, like construction. Never thought I'd be like, oh yeah, you need to get this hairbrush. It's great. Really, really love this brush. Okay, so next. Um, I'll just move on to skincare, so sorry, it's in my bathroom, but I want to talk about the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing foundation and concealer and powder right now, but that soap has cleared up my skin, and I've been using it for about two and a half, three weeks now, but it cleared up my skin, I'd say, in about a week, um, and I still have fallen off the boat a little bit with um, picking at my face, but I've, I've been doing better, but yeah. That soap is amazing. Like, I'm already planning on when I run out of it, I'm going to be purchasing another bar. A little bit drying, but as long as I go ahead and use a good moisturizer and everything, it's totally fine. But love that bar soap. It's it's great. Um, it definitely has helped with my breakouts. It's really cleared up my skin, like I said. But, I mean, you would be able to see the crusty pieces. But, yeah, it's cleared up my skin again. I'm beyond happy with the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. It's great soap, so definitely recommend that. Another product I definitely recommend is the Dickinson's Hydrating Toner. Um, I'm almost out of this little bottle from the Walmart Beauty Box, but like I showed in my video, I do, do have a brand new full-size bottle. This stuff is awesome. It refreshes my skin, it doesn't dry it out, it smells good, and I just really like this toner, so Definitely recommend it. It is awesome. Absolutely love it. It's great. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, one more good, you know, or I should say okay. Another good slash okay makeup product. And this is the ABH um, Powder Highlighter, Loose Powder Highlighter in Vegas. Just want to show you the pretty packaging again. Okay, so I did get this on sale for... Was it $5.99? Yeah, $5.99 at TJ Maxx. It's it's a decent um, highlighter, like I said, but to me, like, it's very similar to, like, Wet n Wild loose highlighters, all, highlighters, all that. It is really pretty on the skin, but, I mean, yeah, if this was full price, which is $25, I definitely wouldn't recommend it or purchase it. It is really nice, but it's same quality as everything is, like, my other loose highlighters, whether it's Juvia's Place or um, Wet n Wild, so or um, what is it called? Airspun, you know. Loose highlighter to me is kind of, they're all kind of the same, and this is no exception. It's really pretty, it is, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's beautiful. I will definitely use it. 
I like it, but I would never recommend this for full price when you can get a really bomb ass uh, powder highlighter that's way bigger with the Wet n Wild loose highlighters. Huge package, and these they're just as good as this. So I like it. It's good, but you know what I mean. It's it, yeah. Anyway, okay. So moving on to the things that I didn't love. Um, the very first one would be the CoverGirl Clean Matte Liquid Foundation. This is supposed to be like a. You're supposed to be able to like build it to like medium coverage. And I've never been able to do that, personally. I've tried and tried and tried. Um, I just can't get it up to a decent coverage-wise, which is not a problem if you're going to conceal, you know. The powder, though. The powder is awful. It made me look dry and cakey when I sweat. Um, it, like, does weird stuff on my skin where it, like, balls up the powder. So, foundation isn't great in my opinion, but the powder is even worse, so yeah, not a huge fan of the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, foundation or the powder there. Clean Matte um, BB Cream on the other hand, great, love that stuff, it's like a holy grail, but the foundation, not so much. And then the last product, which, oh no, I have one more after this, so another one would be the Pantene Foam Conditioner, left my hair feeling really, really dry. Um, yeah, I prefer the herbal essences, so yeah, the Pantene, not so much, Don't didn't love it. And then the last product that I actually already gave away to a friend was the Dollar Tree April Bath and Shower, the Shower Gel Lotion and Body Spray. Those were horrible. The body spray smelled so bad. The lotion was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about, but it wasn't horrible. And then the body wash didn't have much scent to it. I had to use a ton to even get any kind of suds. So, yeah. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't repurchase anything from, like, the April Bath and Shower line, like, for, like, body wash or lotion or body spray or anything. That's just me personally. But, yeah, that's, you know. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed um, September's Favorites and Flops. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. I will go ahead and link... Um, the good things that I enjoyed down below, if I can find them, it will be an Amazon affiliate link, so you're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't have to. I just like to throw that out there for you. Um, let me know down below in the comments what were some of your favorite and maybe not so favorite things during the month of September. Let me know down below. And just so you know, I do have a McCurry page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have another YouTube channel where I upload some days a week all about a bunch of food. And I also have a Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and post pictures and stuff. So I'll have those linked down below for you as well. And of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto-playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones I'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, see you here in just a sec.